We are going to see the Angular 2 material design widgets in action. We are going to show how to run their official demo showcase application. We are going to use the Angular 2 CLI for it. And we are going to see the Angular 2 CLI hot reloading mechanism in action. Ok, so let's get started. Let's head out to the GitHub page of the Material 2 design widgets project. So here we have it. And you can see that you have here a getting started guide. You can follow this guide to set up an application from scratch from the beginning but notice here in this folder there is also a demo application that itself uses already the angular 2 cli so what we are going to do here is we are going to clone the github repository of the material design project for angular 2 we are going to clone it and we are going to cd into the directory and we are going to npm install it this process might take around 5 minutes and once it's completed we now open the material design project, the whole project in our IDE and let's take a look at the package.json of the project. So we have here that we have an npm script for running the demo application which is using the Angular 2 CLI so this ng command is the Angular CLI. We have here two npm scripts that we need to run the application. So the first is the build npm script that will simply call the Angular 2 CLI to build the whole application in development mode. To run this script you can simply type in the command line npm run build and you will have your whole application built in development mode in the build folder. Now that we have our application built we are going to start our development server. From the command line it would be npm run demo app and this will start a server at port 4200 running our demo showcase application. This is the official showcase of the Angular 2 material widgets. Let's have a look at it. And so here we have the official showcase up and running. So every Angular 2 material widget that is being developed will have here some examples of how to use it. So let's open the side menu and see what do we have already available in the current version of Angular 2 material. So we can see here there are already a lot of widgets available for us. Let's explore a bit what is available today. Remember, when you see this video, just go ahead and install the demo following the instructions. Probably there will be more widgets available. We have here the buttons, the material buttons. So we have several types of buttons. We have normal buttons, we have fab buttons, mini fab buttons. And here to the left we can see the examples of the code to which this corresponds to. So this is the template of this page that we are seeing here on the right. Notice that buttons in Angular 2 material are implemented as directives and not as components. These are decorating directives that are being applied to standard HTML button elements. Now let's see the live reload functionality in action of the Angular 2 CLI. So this application is being live reloaded. So if we make a change, for example, here in the text next to this button and we just save it, the Angular 2 CLI is going to detect this change, it's going to rebuild the necessary parts of the application and it's going to trigger a browser reload. So here we have the new changes applied. Now let's quickly see what are the widgets that are available for Angular 2 material. So let's have a look at the toggle buttons that are available. We see here that we have exclusive selection toggle buttons, so only one of these buttons is active at a given time, but we also have already available the multiple selection toggle button. One very important element of the material design specification are cards. You can very quickly create a very good looking UI by using cards properly. So cards are here available in Angular 2 material. We can add them a title and a subtitle. Another component that it's at its early stages is the dialogue. So here we have a very simple demo of a dialog that it's opened and then an action that gets triggered in the parent component that opened it depending on the data that was entered in the dialog. So the dialog is a completely dynamic component, it's not like it's hidden on the page, it's created on demand 
and the goal is that it will be out of the box resizable and draggable. With Angular 2 material we will be able to build beautiful user-friendly forms. So take a look at this. Notice that when we edit the input field the label gets resized and moved up. It stays associated clearly to that input field but we can very easily edit it. As you can see there are many widgets available. But what I would like to talk with you about is the fact that Angular 2 material is much more than a widget library. So there is a framework component to it actually. You could see third party libraries that are actually built on top of Angular 2 material, reusing the accessibility functionality and also reusing for example the portal functionality. So what is the Angular 2 material portal functionality? Let's give a use case. Imagine a very dynamic dashboard with let's say 10 or 20 different items that the user might want to add or remove from the, its screen at a given time. Let's say that it's a dashboard that controls what's going on in a factory. Depending on the user, different uh, graphics might be displayed in that dashboard. Well, that could be doable with the router, but that would be actually very cumbersome. Uh, you could do that with uh, ng-if as well, but the portal functionality allows you to split your page into multiple sections. Each one will contain a given component that it's dynamically assigned to the section at runtime. So the portal functionality allows you to build very dynamic applications that are very configurable by the end user. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can always subscribe to my channel for more upcoming Angular 2 tutorials. Also, have a look at the website of the Angular University to see what type of Angular 2 tutorials you find there that you might like. So I hope that this gives you an overview of what is available in the Angular 2 material library. What I suggest to you is simply from time to time download the demo application, run it uh, following the instructions in this video and you will have a very quick look at what is available. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in another of my Angular 2 videos.